You know, we do want to pick up our team coverage right now with CBS News Miami's Nicole Warren, who's outside of the federal courthouse in downtown. Nicole, some pretty big crowds out there. You and I were both out there yesterday in the middle of it all. I, I, wouldn't, I would say it was kind of underwhelming. Yeah, Keith, you know, I think it, it was compared to the numbers that were expected, but I can tell you such a different sight out here this morning. Keith, you know, for sure, crowds of people flocking out here, both in favor and against the former president, and now a much different sight this morning. So here inside, as you guys mentioned, the former president pleading not guilty to dozens of felony charges. So now this morning, we're all wondering and talking about what's next for Donald Trump. So take a look at some video here from yesterday and let's talk about these key points. Attorneys are going to file some motions in this case that could include seeking to have charges dismissed or evidence even suppressed. Now until last week no former president had ever been charged by the Justice Department let alone accused of mishandling top secret information. The special counsel in this case Jack Smith who wants to bring the charges against him says he is seeking a speedy trial but speedy when it comes to the federal court system system is, of course, a pretty relative term. It could be actually months before this actually even begins. Supporters who showed up yesterday believe the former president will walk away unscathed. Trump is going to get out of here victorious. There will be nothing done to him other than uh, his phone numbers going up and skyrocketing. It's uh, probably the worst day since President Kennedy and President Lincoln were shot. So lots of people on both sides of this out here. Keith, you saw that unfold as well outside the federal courthouse. So legal experts do expect that, you know, his lawyers are going to try to stretch this case out as long as they can. And again, as I mentioned, still no trial date is set for this indictment. But as Terry mentioned, we need to remember that he was already indicted in the state of New York. And we're expecting that trial to begin at some point in early 2024. You're going to hear from the other protesters who showed up out here against the former president coming up in our next half hour of news. We're live in downtown Miami. Nicole Lauren, CBS News, Miami.